Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Remnant Worship Texas Live, or our Remnant Worship Texas Morning Prayer. I do want to welcome you all that's joining and that even will listen to the replay. Um, before we get started, I do want to remind you, don't forget, next Thursday, February the 16th, right here on this YouTube channel, we will be having our live service. So if you would mark your calendars and join me next week for that live service, I would greatly appreciate that. So this morning, um, we are going to read uh, Psalms 8. And it says this in Psalms 8. I'm reading out of the NIV. It says, Oh, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? You have made him a little lower than heavenly beings and have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him ruler over the works of your hands and put everything under his feet. All the flocks and herds, all the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea that swim, the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. So, Father, we bless you this morning. God, we give you praise. We give your name glory. We give your name honor, Lord, because you are majestic and mighty. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. There is no name like you, God. There is no name with power. There is no name with that which we can call on that we would be saved. And so we bless you this morning, God, that because of your name, God, we are saved. God. Father, the Bible declares the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. And so God, we thank you that you are great. We thank you that you are mighty. We thank you that you are holy. We thank you that you are magnificent, God. Father, we bless you this morning. We just thank you right now for waking us up this morning. We thank you, God, for giving us the breath of a life in our bodies God we thank you this morning for everything that you have done for us God we give you praise God we give your name glory and we give your name honor because there is nobody like you in all of the earth God Lord we thank you God that you are God and you are good and you are powerful and you are majestic and you are mighty and you are holy and that there is nothing too hard for you God there's nothing too hard for our our God. There's nothing too hard for you, Lord. There's nothing too hard for you, God. You are God and you are good and you are worthy to be praised, God. So we bless you, God. We lift your name, God. We lift your name, God. Even this morning, God, we lift up worship and praise and adoration to you, God, because you are worthy, God. Father, we thank you, God, that even as the Bible says that when we consider the heavens and the work of your fingers, God, what is man that you are mindful of us? Father, in the Son of Man, that you would care for us, God. We thank you, God, that you are mindful of us, God. Father, despite, God, the things that we may have done, God, you are mindful of us and you care for us, God. Father, from the greatest thing to the smallest thing, God. Lord, you are concerned about the things that we are concerned about, God. You care for us, God. Lord, you, you know the desires of our hearts God you know the longings of our hearts God and father you desire God Lord that our heart is fulfilled in you God father you will lead us to the path God Lord that you have called us to God father we thank you God 
God, that those things that we've been praying for, God, that those loved ones and those family members that we've been praying for and believing you for, God. Father, even, God, our health that we've been praying for, for, for God, and believing you for, God. Lord, our financial situations, God. Father, you care about those things, God. You are concerned about us, God. You love us, God. So we thank you, God, Lord, that this morning we would step into your love, God, that we would embrace your love, God. Lord, there is a love God, that you are pouring out upon us today, God. There is a love that you are wanting us to step into, God. And so, Father, we pray this morning, God, that we will begin to step into the love of God, that we will begin to encounter your love, God, and your presence in a way that we have never experienced before, God. Father, that we will begin to step into your presence, God. Father, that we will begin to step into fresh revelation. Father, that we will begin to step into an assurance God Lord that you that we belong to you God that we belong to you and that you care for us God father so we thank you God that Lord we would encounter you God father we want to encounter your presence God we want to encounter your power Lord we want to encounter your glory God father we thank you that you are God that there is nothing too hard for you, God. It doesn't matter what we're facing, God. It doesn't matter, God, the struggles. It doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter what we're going through in this current moment. You are God, you are good, and you are able to get us through it, God. Father, we come against all fear, God. We come against all distractions. We come against everything that would keep us away from loving you, God and walking with you God father we thank you God even as the scripture declares God God that you make us a little lower than the angels and you have crowned us with glory and honor God father we thank you God that today we receive and we we acknowledge the crown of glory and honor that you have given us father we are your children God we are your sheep in the sh and, and we are the sheep of your pasture God father we belong to you Father, we belong to you and we are a crown, God, with glory and honor, God. And we thank you that today, God, Lord, we would walk in, 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 that, in that privilege, God, Lord, where we are crowned with, with glory and honor, God. Father, we thank you that today, God, we stand in our rightful place, God, as children of God, as heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Father, that no longer would we see ourselves as beneath and below, but we would see ourselves as we are, children of the Most High God, Lord, with a crown, God, of glory and honor, God. So we bless you, God, that because you have given us a crown, God, Lord, you have given us rulership God Lord you said that you have put everything under us God Lord that you have put everything under our feet God father that we are to be rulers of this earth oh God so we thank you God that we take authority over every situation we take authority over every circumstance we take authority over everything that the enemy would try to bring up against us and God we say God because of the authority that you have given us in heavenly places we bind things Lord you said whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven whatever we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven God and so we bind God Lord fear we bind a God Lord disease we bind sickness God we bind oh God Lord financial a ruin God we bind everything that's unlike you we bind oh God Lord the enemy in the name of Jesus we bind him off of our families we bind him off of our minds in the name of Jesus and we declare freedom God we lose peace God we lose joy God 
We lose revelation, God. Lord, we lose the love of God. We lose, oh God, Lord, a communion with you, God. Lord, we lose, oh God, freedom, God. We lose deliverance, God. We thank you that every chain has been broken off of our life in the name of Jesus. And we are set free, God. That whom the Son has set free is free indeed, God. And we thank you that we are walking in freedom, God. Because you have given us, God, power and authority, God. You've given us power and authority over the enemy, God. And so we say, oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. How, how majestic is your name. How mighty is your name, God. How holy is your name, God. We give you praise, God. We give you praise because you are God. And Lord, because you are worthy to be praised. Because you are the God of power and might and strength, God. And Lord, we declare today God that the victory belongs to us God that victory belongs to us Jesus that victory belongs to us God we declare your victory God and we declare your power God we declare it now in Jesus name so father we bless you today for your power we thank you that as we go throughout our day today God that it would be a blessed day God because we realize who we are we are crowned with glory and honor and you have given us authority over everything God and we walk in that authority today in the name of Jesus so father we bless you now and we give you praise in Jesus name amen amen and amen Amen. God bless you. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And even as the scripture says that God has, has crowned us with glory and honor. And he has given us authority over everything because he is God. So I want to encourage you. Don't walk in discouragement. Don't walk down and out. Know that you belong to God. And he has given you a crown of glory and honor. And walk in that authority. Begin to decree and declare a thing and see it established. And remember Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Whatever you ask for in prayer. Believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. God bless you. I love you all. Don't forget Mark your calendars next thursday we'll be praying at 10 30 a.m central standard time as well as our live service will be next thursday at 7 p.m thank you all so much for joining me this morning god bless you i love you and i will see you all next week